Josh Blackman, a professor at the South Texas Law School in Houston, said, The court needs to take this case. You can't continue this situation any longer. You need to print ballots. Overseas ballots. Military ballots for the absentee. We want to find a solution to this problem right away. Last week, Colorado Supreme Court ruled in a four's third ruling that Trump was deferred from the presidency for participating in rebellion. Maine's Foreign Minister Shenna Bellows reached same conclusion Thursday, writing in her ruling that attack on January 6 was acted with order and knowledge and support of departed president. The Colorado Republican Party has asked U.S. Supreme Court to review the Colorado ruling. And Trump is expected to do same on Tuesday. Trump also said he would soon appeal the main decision in state court. As the appeals continued, both decisions were temporarily suspended. So for now, Trump is scheduled to appear on the ballots in those states. Questions about Trump's eligibility to run for president come as Trump faces criminal charges. Federal court in D. C. and the state court Georgia for his actions after 2020 election. Accusations include ding the United States and blackmail. But there is no uprising. As candidate setting season was about to begin, the decisions of Colorado and Maine overturned presidential race. Some Democrats welcomed the findings, while others said it would be better to beat Trump at the ballot than to block his candidacy. Trump has made a big difference in Republican primaries. But GOP opponents have been on the side of Trump, saying that voters should decide who to elect as flag bearers, not courts or elected officials. A spokesman for former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley said it must be up to the electorate to decide who gets elected. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie said Trump should decide on his fate. And on CNN, Maine said his decision made Trump a martyr. Trump his allies stated Bellows was a Democrat and that all of the Colorado Supreme Court judges were appointed by Democratic governors, adding the decisions were anti-democratic politically motivated. These partisan election response efforts are a hostile attack on American democracy. Trump advisors said they followed suit and verdict, but were not concerned about the verdicts especially those who had not yet appeared in court in Maine, speaking on condition that his name is not revealed to discuss sensitive issue. An advisor said all court decisions so far, except for decision of Colorado Supreme Court, have allowed Trump to enter vote. Of course we don't like the Colorado decision, but we think it will be resolved on its own the consultant said. They believe their chances in court are quite positive. A person close to Trump said that none of the states that were supposed to receive 270 delegate votes could get him out of the ballot. Republicans in Maine on Friday said Bellow's decision only gave the former president more sup.